Well, quite recently I did a, an installation guide for Perfected Doom 3, but apparently uh, there's a few people that um, found it difficult to get it working, so I thought I'd do like a on-the-fly live installation. So I've just downloaded Doom 3 through my Steam client, and we've got here the Perfected Doom 3 and the patch. Okay, so go to your Doom 3 directory, open up the download and you'll see you've got two files, so what we want to do is just copy and paste it in. And there you can see the perfected file has appeared. There is a readme here which you can look at at your own leisure, but I don't think we're going to need it for this uh, video. And then we've got the patch. And depending whether you're playing Doom 3 or Resurrection of Evil, you apply the relevant patch to your game. So you would go into your affected mod file and this is for Doom 3 the main game so I'm just gonna copy that and paste it in okay now you've got the mod installed but what tends to happen because Doom 3 is such an old game is that it will run either at a funny aspect ratio um, you know a bit of a funny resolution so this is what it will look like right now. Right, so as you can see, you're presented with big black bars. Um, for most people, I think, you know, you're going to want to improve the quality uh, from this. So the first thing we want to do is click where it says mods. And you should see perfected Doom 3 there. So you then just click load mod and it should appear. There we are. So you're greeted with the mod loading screen or the mod main menu. But we still have got these black bars and there's a few tweaks that we can apply to make the game look and run better. So let's exit. Alright, so to my knowledge, if we hadn't just loaded up the game, we wouldn't have this file. Likewise, if we wanted to play the main game, I had to suddenly think then, going to the base folder, we wouldn't have the config file in there either, I think. But I know for the, the mod, to make some changes, you need to get to the main menu screen before this will appear. So that's why I loaded it up. Okay, so let's open up this with Notepad. So the first thing we want to do is to find... Let's see if I can do this live without making a cock up. Right, so yeah. C to R, custom height, right. So that depends on your resolution. So for me, that's going to be 1440. And the width is 2560. Okay. Now, just to double check. R mode should be set to minus 1. So it says 3, we want it to be minus 1. And there was another one there. Ah yes, the R aspect ratio, which I sometimes struggle to find actually, but it is there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. R aspect ratio. I think it's about halfway down. There we are. Now this depends on your monitor. If you're running a 4x3 resolution, sorry, 4x3 aspect ratio, like a very old monitor, 
then leave it at zero. If you're running, like me, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, then you need to change it to 1. If you were running a 16 by 10 monitor uh, aspect ratio, so my last monitor was a 1920 by 1200, uh, then you'd change it to 2. But for, uh, I think most people are going to be wanting to change it to 1. Alright, so when you've done that, you want to click to close. And it'll ask you to save it, which you then select yes. There are other things you can change, like C to G field of view. Um, that is very much dependent on an individual, so I tend to change that actually in the game itself, and I tend to fluctuate between 90, which is the default anyway in this mod, up to about 105. But as I say, that will vary. So let's just close it, save, and that should be it. Now this time, because I've shown you how to access the mods through the Doom 3 menu, rather than do that this time, I'm just going to double click on the batch file, but it's really up to you how you wish to start it. So there we are, we're in perfected Doom 3, so as you can see it works. The other option would be to load it via Steam as per normal, and then click on mods and then you would select perfected Doom 3, but we've already done that, so. So just to show you it works, I haven't changed any keys or any options, um, I'm just going to get straight into the campaign. And here we are, I've skipped the introduction. But as you can see, it's working. Uh, so let's just check the field of view. So press the tiled key, or however you pronounce it, tilled or tiled. G underscore FOV. And as you can see, the default is 90, which it was in the notepad file. I'm going to make it... Uh, I think 105 is about my limit. For this game, maybe even a hundred. But I quite like that. But it's about as far as I'm willing to go. Uh, I cover the settings a bit more in detail in the first video, so if you want to check out a more longer-winded uh, version, then by all means do that, and I'll link that in the video description. I do also mention in the first video that there are some optional files that you can install and to be honest I don't actually know if my method was correct in that. So unless someone uh, can check that out and say yes or no to that then uh, uh, you know I'm really not too sure. I found the instructions to install the extra shaders a bit, um, bit vague. But anyway, as you can see, we've got the base game running, and that's the that's the bottom line. You've now got the game, so away you go. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope it's helped you. I hope it's answered a few queries that I've had about uh, Perfected Doom 3. And if, you ha if it has helped and you have enjoyed it, then please consider liking and subscribing. Bye for now.